Tesla has reported amazing Q1 results and I don't need to tell you about the beat in earnings but I think there are some interesting bits around the earnings call and in relation to Shanghai, Giga Shanghai, uh, the situation with the COVID lockdown. So, so generally some insights about the situation on the ground in Shanghai regarding production and also some learnings for NIO for example here. And then in relation also to Shanghai and Giga Berlin, here I have some surprising insights by the German automotive pope that I have been quoting before regarding uh, NEOS battery swapping. So stay tuned for that. First of all, here in the background, I have the earnings transcript, um, so of the earnings call. And I have to say this time, uh, my takeaway was far more positive than the previous Q4 earnings call in which I was kind of confused by some of the uh, statements by Elon Musk and uh, so I wasn't really looking forward to Elon Musk being on the call uh, yesterday again and but this time I think it was far better in terms of the questions that he answered um, far more productive and not raising more questions than actually answering them uh, so I think this time it was a really good earnings call and here a couple of interesting insights regarding Giga Shanghai and the situation in Shanghai he said that Shanghai is back in production at a fairly high levels already and this important part and so are our suppliers so not only Shanghai which is one of those businesses exempt which I've reported before is back but also the suppliers which of course is very important because otherwise it doesn't help if Shanghai is back in production if there are no parts delivered and Elon is even going so far in stating that he don't think it's going to be a big deal with other impacts of the COVID lockdown situation on, on Shanghai so he seems very very optimistic here I'm not sure even if we should maybe dial back here a bit on the sentiment but so far this is looking very good Elon also gave a little bit more context on what this might mean for the Q2 and Q1 one numbers and once again a very bullish statement here that Giga Shanghai is coming back with Venegans. I outlined in my previous chart how important um, Giga Shanghai is in terms of scaling and he also mentioned that particularly in Q3 and Q4 this will be at a substantially higher rate and so you may see this continuous well scale of the Giga Shanghai. While for Giga Berlin and Giga Texas at the very beginning uh, it seems that this will be a smaller growth uh, in scaling but then um, still growing exponentially and, and then we should expect a sort of a 5,000 cars per week level after 12 months. And now this brings me to an expert opinion by Ferdinand Dudenhofer which I quoted before around his statements about battery swapping and NEO and China and as I've mentioned before he's one of the main experts in the automotive industry uh, quoted in the German media here so this is an auto translated article and he's talking about the Grünheiter so Giga Berlin plant in comparison to Giga Shanghai and he's basically saying that Grünheide Giga Berlin will actually be bigger than Shanghai. And a couple of interesting topics here. First of all, he's also being asked about uh, Shanghai production and the lockdowns and he's assuming that after the lockdowns being lifted it would maybe take two to three months before the plant is back on track. And actually also Elon Musk was asked about this that if the lockdown in Shanghai could actually also impact other plants and he said yes theoretically that's possible but Shanghai is already back in production at fairly high levels and also he doesn't think this will be a big deal for the other plants. And then regarding the capabilities of Giga Berlin he says that yes currently the best quality for Tesla comes from Shanghai but he is assuming that the Grünheide factory can actually top that once it's properly um, in production and in full swing and uh, he's attributing that to the German engineers and the production specialists, the learnings from Shanghai and generally that the uh, Giga factory in Berlin has the newest equipments and also all of the learnings from the previous Giga factories and according to his views by the middle of next year Giga Berlin should be already um, yeah, be at a capacity of 500,000 vehicles per year. And so for these are some good insights by experts and Elon Musk himself about the situation in Shanghai and also how Tesla is set up with those regional geographies everywhere on having factories in different continents, something that I talked about actually NEO should also consider doing. I hope you find that insightful. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.